Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. The amazing footage that you just saw showing some obvious movement and activity happening in a crater caught by an amateur astronomer and sent into us last night very well may go down in the history books as one of the clearest indications that there is current, mind you, current activity, not past history, as we know that there are ruins on the moon, there are bases on the far side of the moon, and we have heard through Apollo transcripts and seen through the various Apollo moonwalk footage that there was activity happening back in the late 60s, and the astronauts have reported on this. However, this new footage captured through a telescope that was basically jimmied with an HD camera attached to it, giving it an 800x zooming feature, which allowed the source to capture this amazingly close shot of the moon. Now, we are playing the footage over, slowed down for you, um, zoomed in. We'll give you multiple angles here as we speak, and as you're seeing, there's obvious movement. In fact, we see something come up out of the shadow of the crater momentarily, and the way the object is moving, it reminds me of something that's spinning, reflecting light. And then the object disappears, and then moments later, as the telescope is still focused on this crater, we see a slight flicker of light from this object or objects once again appear, albeit briefly. Now, this was shot using a Mead 12-inch LX850 ACF telescope with Starlock, set up with an HD Sony Handycam with 800x zoom, which obviously allows you to get even closer to the moon, and we've seen this set up before. Uh, as you're seeing in this still image here, uh, this is basically what this setup would look like. There are various different cameras you can use, and if for any of you astronomy aficionados out there who want a setup like this, it's actually not that hard to do. You simply purchase a telescope, a video camera, you attach it to the eyepiece, and there are universal attachments that you can purchase. There are even cameras that you can purchase specifically to use with the telescope. And this was captured by a man and resident of the town of Oro Valley, which is actually right outside Tucson in Arizona. And I want you to stay tuned because we have some more moon footage from the official LROC website showing these very close-up HD images of the moon, these 4K images, and we have found some amazing stuff there, so stay tuned. But first, back to this footage, and as you're seeing, just wow. I really don't know what else to say about it. I have said until I've been red in the face that there is alien activity happening on the moon. Now, could this be human activity? Could we have bases up there? Yes, that's a very good possibility. However, whatever these objects, or if it's a single object, this thing would have to be massive. We're talking the size of a football field or larger, because this is an extremely massive crater that the source has zoomed in on here. And you can definitely see this object appear, it disappears, and then comes back moments later. Simply amazing. This is some of the best UFO footage with regards to the moon I have ever seen. And I want every single one of you guys to share this after you've watched this video. We need to get footage like this out because that's the only way that we will bring attention to this field of research and hopefully down the line have some politicians that are sympathetic to our plight and also want to know the truth and can pull some strings to make that happen. So again, it's some amazing footage. Let me know what you guys think. And on to another amazing find that was emailed to me by a viewer. I know that many of you scour these lunar orbiter images and we've done plenty of videos on it where we have found structures, UFOs, disks, towers on the moon. NASA has been busted covering up these structures on the moon as you're seeing in this image here and other images just like it blurring out these structures that are sitting inside of craters and a viewer sent me a link where he had told me that he found what looked like a trail dug into the lunar soil like there was a vehicle of some sort a massive vehicle moving along the moon's surface curving around craters as if to avoid them further to say that there is possibly some intelligent control behind whatever created these trails. So, what you're seeing here is the official NASA LROC page, which shows these 
beautiful HD uh, 4K up close images of the moon as mapped by the lunar orbiter. Now I will zoom out here for reference uh, just so you can see where we are exactly and you can look this up yourself. The link to this again down in the video description. So this is right outside the crater called Plasket U. And so we'll go ahead and zoom back in here. And the source of the footage emailed me this and said there's definitely something moving on the moon. So as we zoom in here, you'll begin to notice uh, this object here. This is a standing object as seen from the massively long shadow coming off of it. And this is the closest that we can zoom. And it almost looks like uh, a crater dug into the lunar soil. And then we have this massive almost canopy or domed looking structure that's coming up and curving over the top of it. And again, look at this massive shadow. This thing is towering above the surface. And we start to see this trail here, as you're seeing. And we have all of these objects sitting down here. Some of them look very odd. Uh, some are obviously rocks, uh, but some of them are quite large. Uh, again, casting very long shadows grouped around uh, this large structure with this large canopy here. Um, and some of these objects are look to be in a sort of a formation, as if they're curving. You can see them almost like sitting here right next to each other, curving around in kind of a half circle. And there are some amazing structures in this uh, area. So bear with me, and we'll have it all grouped up and into perspective very soon. So we have this object here. We have other objects, smaller objects, but still large, uh, scattered among the surface, almost grouped in this general area of this object. And then we start to see this trail coming from the object going upwards. This is going uphill. And as we follow the trail, you'll actually notice there's some objects still sitting on the trail as if this thing is being used. Now we have documented pieces of footage in the past from Apollo images and lunar orbiter images showing these trails on the surface of the moon going down hills, up hills, going down into craters and then coming back up and out of craters again uh, at the end of which are these massive looking vehicle like structures. Again, we, it goes back to the talk of mining on the moon and helium-3 that exists there. And so we're following uh, this trail, and as you can see, there's some objects sitting on the trail. And by the way, we found a massive pipe coming out of the surface. Uh, turn your attention right here, and you'll notice this large, what looks like a, almost a drainage pipe coming out of the moon and look at the thing. The sun is shining down, hitting the circular top rim of the pipe. Here's the opening. Here's the hole, the large opening, perfect circle, a perfect straight edge along the top as it digs into the soil. And then on the bottom inside lip of this large pipe, you can also see the sun uh, glinting off of the inside rim of this pipe. And we've once again documented these pipes. There are massive complexes of these pipes crisscrossing underneath the surface of the moon. We've documented this in past videos. There have been pipes seen coming out of craters, coming out of the inside rim of these craters, going across the crater and digging back into the opposite rim on the other side. We've also seen these pipes coming out of the inside of a crater rim and making a perfect right-angled L-shape, coming out, twisting down, and going back into the bottom of the crater. So again, this is a massive pipe, and I think I might know where it leads, because as you're following this trail here, and again, remember we mentioned before, this trail curves as if to miss uh, craters and certain obstructions that are in the way uh, and you know you can see the trail is going straight 
uh, and it should have kept going straight, but as you see it curves around, uh, narrowly missing this crater here. Continues going up, curves a little bit more, and stops at this, what looks like a crater here, and what do you know? There is a large object sitting in this crater uh, with the light shining on it and the shadow of the object behind it. And as you can see, this trail sort of branches off into a fork. Uh, there's one that curves down this way and another one that curves to the left, one to the right and one to the left. So again, we have an object here sitting at the end of this trail. Could this be one of these mining vehicles? And is this actually a crater? What does this go down into? Is it connected to this massive pipe that we just showed you? Coming out of the surface right here. And again, there's some strange squarish looking structures sitting uh, on this trail that's been carved into the surface. One of those is right here that you're seeing. And you can see that there looks to be an object here with the light shining off of it. And then we have a dark rectangular object connected to it that is very dark compared to the rest of the lunar surface. So again, it's some amazing footage. We have this large structure casting this massive shadow. And there are some other uh, very anomalous structures in this image. Uh, here's a, a very tall object here. Uh, again, casting a very long shadow. And uh, again, we actually found some U-shaped objects, like the one you're seeing here. Uh, um, once again, like a horseshoe. A lot of horseshoe-shaped objects lately. You can see there's one uh, end at the tip of the object, comes down into the lunar soil, comes back up again, and here's the shadow behind it. Uh, and again, are these ruins? So again, uh, an amazing find. Big thanks to the source. Uh, you can see this trail uh, leaving this massive structure, coming up all the way up, curving around these craters as if it's as if it were controlled, uh, rolling uphill, mind you. Uh, and I think we very well may have a shot of one of the objects creating this trail coming down into this crater. So again, amazing uh, images. Be sure to check it out yourself. A big thanks for the lunar telescopic footage we showed you earlier. Uh, these are some amazing times, and this is some of the best lunar footage of these UFOs that I've seen thus far. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out, and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming, and we'll have another video up very soon. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and